Hey everyone, Trithivya from TGT and welcome to another video. In this video, I'll show you the process of converting a physical SIM to an eSIM or maybe you have bought a new iPhone and you already have an eSIM on your older device and you want to transfer it to a newer device. This same process will help you out. The process is almost same for iOS and Android users, but the Android users will have to perform one extra step to add the new eSIM on your new device. I'll show you that later. This is for Geo India users. For Airtel India users, I have a separate video. The link is there in the description box below. These are the two iPhones that I'll be using to demonstrate the process. The left one is the old iPhone where I have the eSIM card. Right one is the new device where I want to transfer my eSIM. The process I'm going to show you is also applicable if you have a physical SIM card and you wish to convert it to an eSIM. So you have to do the entire process I'll show you on that device only. Now here are some prerequisites that you should note down before you begin. You will need the 32 digit EID number and the 15 digit IMEI number of your new iPhone. That means where you want to transfer your eSIM in case of eSIM transfer. For the physical SIM to eSIM, find the EID and IMEI numbers of your device where you have the physical SIM installed. iPhone users will find those numbers on settings, then general and then about. Android users will get that within settings and then about phone. Also make sure your new iPhone where you want to transfer your eSIM is connected to internet via Wi-Fi. Here you can see I have the Geo connection active in this iPhone and I do not have any physical SIM card present in this device. So I am transferring my eSIM from the old iPhone to the new one. First on the old device you have to go to the messages app and type get eSIM G E T E S I M and then space then the 32 digit EID of your new iPhone not the old one in case of transfer then again space and then the 15 digit IMEI number of your new iPhone and send that SMS to 199 in reply you will receive two SMSs one will tell you how to activate the eSIM on your new device for iPhone users I'll show you the process step by step here Android users will get an activation code that needs to be entered manually to get the eSIM profile. As you can see the highlighted part of the SMS clearly mentions that. The other SMS you get will look like this. You will find a 19 digit eSIM card number on that. Keep that number handy. Then on your old iPhone, go to messages app and type SIM change S I M C H G then space then the 19 digit eSIM card number you have just received and send that SMS to 199. After that you will receive a confirmation SMS like this. At this point you have to wait for some time then another message will arrive where you will find your virtual eSIM number. Keep that number handy followed by the instruction about what to do next. Now by the time you do that on your new iPhone, you will see this settings pop up. It says Geo data plan ready to be installed. Keep it like this. Do not do anything with this one yet. If you are converting your physical SIM to eSIM, this pop up will appear on the same device. On your old iPhone now, go to messages again and type 1 in numeric digit and send it to 183. In reply to that, next SMS you will receive should look like this. This says thank you for giving your consent. You will receive an automated call on your geo number that is on your old iPhone within 10 minutes to confirm 19 digits of your new SIM number. You already have that new SIM number from your previous SMS. Usually that call comes immediately from a number which should look like this. This is an IVR call. You need to follow the steps as instructed on that call you have to enter the 19 digit new SIM card number during that call. Once completed successfully, you will receive a confirmation that your eSIM conversion has been successful. Now go to the new iPhone, tap on that settings, then press continue. It will take some time to install the new data plan. Once done, go to mobile data, 
Here you will see your eSIM is activating. Follow the instructions that appear on the screen and then you are done. Your Geo plan is now active on your new iPhone. Remember, you are not going to see the network tower right away in your new device. It's still active on your old device. Within an hour or two, you will see the mobile signal disappears on your old device and that is now active on your new device. If that doesn't happen immediately or automatically, just restart your new device after some time and you will be able to see the signal there. Now here are two very important things to remember. First, within your mobile data plan in the new eSIM, never ever click remove data plan option. This will completely delete your eSIM card and you have to register a complaint, go to the physical store and then reissue the physical SIM of your number again. So that's going to be a pretty tedious process. So don't ever do that mistake. You can add multiple eSIMs in your device but only one eSIM and one physical SIM will be active at a time. The second point is your SMS service on your new eSIM will remain blocked for 24 hours, that is for a day. This is due to the security reason. It will be activated automatically after that. So plan your tasks accordingly. Hope this video is helpful to you. If you have any queries, do write it down in the comment section below and please don't forget to subscribe, share and like this video and share this video with your friends. I'll see you in my next one. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace.